All right, back to our back to our uh, carving. I'm sorry, I had to take my glove off for a minute and do something. Put it back on. All right, let's continue to take this. So why you have to make it so thick to begin with? So that we can keep our little base down here. We want to have our little base uh, that we uh, have here. We want to be able to... See, this, this just all, sort of all comes down together, as you might say. We just kind of... See how that kind of fits. Now, if you want to just carve it and put it on a base, you can do that, but I thought this would be kind of nice to have the base attached to it. Just begin to bring. Now this beak is real, real thin. It gets real, real, real thin. So we want to bring it down quite a ways. Kind of go from side to side. Watch your grain. And also, this is going to come down quite a bit too, this back, back here, this uh, tail, as we say. Alright, just, just continue to bring it down. Actually, the, the beak almost begins to come to a, in fact it does, a point. See, that allows us for this little base that it sits on right here by removing a lot of this wood. See, like that. Well, let's stop and look at our piece. Basically, it's a roughing out period. See, it's already beginning to, to take shape. Already beginning to look like something. It's a simple project. It's not a difficult one. More shaping than anything. I think it's a great beginner project to learn how to shape. I try to find projects that are more prone to beginners and people that haven't been carving a long period of time. And this is a good project because it's it's more of a shaping project than it is necessarily a um, when I say shaping I mean the fact that uh, Shaping as far as uh, not a lot of detail. There's not a lot of detail in this. He's, he's sort of an abstract, as we might say, type uh, figure. 
but it's something that's just nice to have on your shelf or kind of neat especially if you can find a certain type of wood to do it out of very round in here okay and basically on these you just sort of go from side to side look at your piece go from side to side look at what you're doing look at the front of it here Now as you get to a point, basically, you want to come up underneath here. Be very careful now as you get to that point. There you go. Very careful. And I'm going to bring, go ahead and bring this hood down with this face. We want to be careful. Because this, uh, Now then, see what we're talking about here? See that? Now let's bring this down in here. There we go. And this down in here. Now, as we get down this low, and as we get our piece beginning to really get thinned off and smaller, see up here? We're really getting it down thin now. Okay. We want to go ahead and draw our line. Let me get my pencil draw a line up here like that come over here draw a line up here like that okay and go ahead and begin to thin off take your knife and slowly begin to thin off away from the face away from the head not the face like that see same thing here very lightly take your knife and begin to thin off bring down this area by itself not with the face but by itself and then we'll bring the face down a little more if we have to you have to be very careful in this area because you're really getting down thin here but this this hood here or this top up here is thin. 
Very thin. See, just like that. Be careful. You actually bring this to a a real good point. Actually, this this comes to a point. This back here. So I'm gonna put my little uh, put my hand in there just to kind of. There we go. See that? Let's bring this down a little bit more. Do it slowly, folks, because it's this is thin wood. You want to be careful. that okay my time's up right now and we'll come back to it